Welcome back everyone. In today's video, we're going to talk about extending backgrounds. We'll take this amazing sand castle, extend the beach out to the right quite a bit. And then for fun, we'll add this dragon. Because what else would you do with all this space next to a castle? All right, this incredible sand castle has just about everything but space. It's feeling a bit cramped to me. So, I'm going to give it a little breathing room by clicking on my crop tool on the left-hand toolbar and dragging the nodes to the right to open up my canvas. Next, I'll select the clone brush tool on the left toolbar. I'll sample a bit of the sand by clicking on option and then paint over the open space. Oops, make sure the background layer is selected. Then you can start painting. It's best to paint a little bit then go back and sample another spot by holding Option and clicking. You want to blend it in nicely. This technique works great for extending sand, grass, clouds and other things. It's best to paint a little bit, then go back and sample another spot by holding Option and clicking. You want to blend it in nicely. This technique works great for extending sand, grass, clouds and other things. I'm trying to create a foreground here, as you can see, there is more sand off in the distance. So, I'll angle my clone stamp painting so that it looks like the castle is on a little hill in front of the beach background. Okay, that looks good. I've decided that there's not enough of the smooth beach in the background to sample from. So, I'm going to erase it and find a similar background to replace it with. I'll use my selection brush tool to select the sky and beach area. Looks like I've selected some of the castle. So, I'll unselect it by holding the Option or Alt key while painting over the areas I want to keep. To get to the fine details, I made my brush head smaller by clicking on the left bracket key a few times. Now, let me just go over this a bit. Okay, that looks good. I'll just click the Delete key to remove the sky and beach background. I went to pixabay.com and found this perfect beach and sky replacement. It actually looks much better. I'll go to File and Select Place. Then pick the file I downloaded and drag it onto my canvas. All right, next I'll move the background layer down below the castle layer. I'll turn the castle layer off for a moment. I noticed that this beach is much lighter in color than the other beach. So I'm gonna darken it a bit, but I don't want to affect the sky. So. I'll right-click on the background layer and select Duplicate. Now, I'll go to my Selection Brush tool and paint over the sky and ocean to select it. I need to turn this into a pixel layer to delete the sky. So I'll right-click the Duplicate layer and select Rasterize. Then. I'll just click the delete key to make it go away. Okay, I'll turn the castle layer back on by clicking the little dot to the right. Then, I'll click the add pixel layer button at the bottom of the layers panel to give me a new layer to paint on. I want to select the entire beach with my selection brush tool. Let me turn that castle layer back off for a second and do that. Okay, that's good. I'll turn the castle layer back on. And then I'll select the pixel layer to paint on. I'm going to grab and hold the color picker tool up here in the right hand corner and drag it over a bit of sand that has the right shade of tan that I want. Then I'll select my paintbrush tool on the left hand toolbar. Make sure the pixel layer is selected and paint over the beach. Okay, that doesn't look good, but never fear. This is a good time to use a blending mode. I'll select the mode at the top of the layer panel and change it from normal to color. See, that looks great. Okay, like I said, what good is an extended image without something in it and what's a castle without a dragon? I created this dragon from playground.com with just a few keywords. I'll cut him out and remove him from his background using the Selection Brush tool and the Refine tool. I'll speed through this part so as not to bore you.
If you don't know how to remove a dragon from its background, I'll leave a link in the description on how to use the Selection Brush Tool and Refine Tool. Now that I have him selected, I'll select Edit Copy, go back to my project and click Edit Paste to put the dragon on my beach here. I'll drag the little nodes to size him the way I want him. And then grab the layer and drop it beneath the castle layer. That looks pretty good. Finally, I think I'll put a simple little shadow under my dragon. I'll select the dragon layer and then click Command or Control J to duplicate it. Then, I'll right-click on the lower dragon layer, scroll down to Transform and select Flip Vertical. I'll drag the upside-down dragon lower so that their feet match up. Then I'll sort of squish the lower dragon by grabbing the middle node on the bottom of the selection and moving it up. Finally, I'll turn this dragon into a black shadow by clicking on the FX button at the bottom of the Layers panel. I'll select Color Overlay and make sure it's set to black. Then, I'll give it a little Gaussian blur. I'll adjust the radius until it looks good to me. I think it's too dark, so the last thing I'll do is lower the opacity a little bit by dragging the opacity slider in the Layers panel down some. Well, that's it for today. If you like this kind of content, please don't forget to click those like and subscribe buttons. It really does help my little channel quite a bit. Have a great day, everyone.